What's up, it's your boy Nick Miller. Nick Miller and the Neighbors coming at you live, live from Summerfest. What's up? Hey, uh, I'm representing Playground Misnomer. You're watching Playground Misnomer TV. Please. I played in a band in high school called the Maxwells, and we got to play here. We played at something like the Tiki Hut Lounge. Not exactly prestigious, uh, but yeah, it's like a decent time slot. But anyway, no, when uh, we had Summerfest, I was thinking Tuesday at 11.30 in the morning on, uh, you know, next to the bathrooms. But this was great. So, I just feel like everybody, everybody I grew up with, we usually made it to Summerfest at least once a year. It's just sort of like an appointment thing. When you get to play there, you feel like, I knew it was extra incentive for people to come to the show, and it was really exciting to have like an attractive show to invite people to, too. something that everyone, everyone in Milwaukee is doing anyway. So. I feel like it's very deliberately planned out every time, and I know a lot of people go to see uh, something wild and crazy happen. We definitely bring the energy, but we try to, uh, I don't know, I try to take the order of the songs seriously so we can kind of like build energy and then like to play by myself in the middle and kind of cool it down and then wrap people back up. And just when they're starting to get kind of like, all right, so this is quiet, you know, Nick doing his tender jams, then we bring everybody back out and get rowdy and hopefully end on like the highest note possible. I'll be making songs where like Raunch, at least the old recording of it, is like almost all synthesized instruments and then like a guitar and vocals. And I knew I wasn't gonna have a band with like eight synthesizers on stage. It would be kinda cool, it'd be kinda weird. Uh, and I wanted like live instruments to have a way of ramping people up. So it's like I want to recreate that sound as much as I can, but it's always going to be different, and I think it's more dynamic with live instruments. I grew up, my like first instincts musically were like when my mom was playing oldies and like old soul singers, or like even Elvis, I was a pretty soulful guy, Chuck Berry, stuff like that. Uh, and then I wanted to be, you know, relatively cool with people at some point, so I started listening to Top 40 music. And then at some point I said, eh, screw it, I want to listen to that old soul music again. And uh, I got into Jeff Buckley, who was the singer in the 90s, who, uh, you know, was a, a white dude with a pretty soulful voice. And I thought he was a black woman when I heard him at first. So, like, it was sort of inspiration. Like, I, I think it's kind of hacky when a lot of white dudes sing soul. It sounds, like, cheesy, so... Hearing somebody do it that well and that convincingly, I thought, like, yeah, you know what? If you do it well, it's, it has nothing to do with it. If you ever change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind, oh, bring it to me, bring your sweet. Yeah, the first day I got to Madison. I remember like plugging in my amp because my my roommate was a guitar player too, and we're like, yeah. and within like 30 seconds of me playing, the RA was in my room like, hey, yeah, so here's what we're gonna do, and so I had to turn it off, and I had an acoustic with me too, um, so then I thought, all right, well, and in high school I wrote all these really somewhat corny rock songs, and then when I had just an acoustic, I had to sort of change what I was doing. I still go places and play the electric, yeah, you know, like. And then you get this weird, like, I don't want to disturb anyone else with my noise, so then you're kind of like writing quieter music, more, I don't know. I think if we did anything, we'd do an EP, but like a, you know, six song thing that's a full band. And I'm also thinking about just trying to, like, the demos I already have, just pushing them more, because like, I know they sound lo-fi and kind of homemade, but you get, you get the idea from listening to them what it is. Yeah, so, shopping around some of my stuff, putting together some of the Hopefully the video will be done by like September, October, and 
then I guess I would start. I feel like a video is a really nice package to like give to people as a promotional thing, and that's when I would start pushing more. I really haven't spent much time trying to network. Oh, so this is great. But I mean, yeah, like you know, using blogs and using social to my advantage. I, that's not something I was doing because I felt like I've been sitting up the same material for years. Like when I have something video to go with it, and I can. They have played these venues and played summer fest and we try to drum up some excitement.